That was your pick. Sure. Um, the word of God comes forth from God. Okay. The reason why you and I both believe that the word of God is Allah, and you're agreeing to that, right? I didn't say is. I mean, represent Allah. But okay. Is. Which one are you? Which one? I don't say is Allah. We don't say this. Okay. Whatever. So he. We don't say this. Okay. So I want to just know clearly, so I can know how to communicate with you. The speech hold of hold Allah. Hold on, hold on. Just let me speak. Allah. Let me, let me just finish my sentence. Yeah. The word of God are the attributes of Allah. Okay, the attributes, okay? Is that Allah, yes or no? Yes, that attribute, yes. The attributes. Yes, the okay, attributes. good, good, good. So, we believe, just like you, that the attributes of God are God. But the attributes are revelations or manifestations of the person. For instance, when I speak with you, I don't know your wrath or your judgment or even how you feel right now. All I know right now is what you reveal. But what you reveal comes after and it comes forth from you. So what I'm trying to say is that Jesus being the Word of God is the revelation of God. So the reason why he didn't say he knew the day or the hour at that time was because that the was word. not the will of the word at that time. The word didn't okay. say. Do you understand uh, my yeah. definition? The you word didn't say. With okay. It, okay. Okay. But do you understand? Let, let, let me oh, just answer my question, please. Answer my question. Do you understand? Okay. I understood. I understood. Do you understand? I understood. I understood. Good. Okay. Mm. okay, you disagree, yeah. but you understand. Yeah. For example, the impression that I gave to you, it, it represents me, but it's not me. It represents me to you. But it's not me, which means the speech, my speech to you, what you see from me, my, from the, my manners to you, it represents me to you. This is the image in your mind. Sure, sure. But it's not me. And who is it? I'm here, which means it is distinct from me. Okay, you understand? I, okay. Good. It yeah. is distinct, but so, yet it's you. No, it's not me. Now what is it? It is, it is, it is your image, which you have in your brain about me. These are what you think, what, this is the impression that you have from me, but it doesn't represent me because if I will take it in a way, the same analogy, I, for example, for you or my image to you is something, for him is something else, for another one is something else. So each one... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am here. I'm still here. Guys, guys, one person at a time. You think bad about me. Hold on, one person. He thinks good about me. Yeah? Okay, hold on. You think I am devil. He thinks I am, for example, honored person. You see? That's okay. why that's my impression. No, no, this you just your impression. So it is subjective again. So that's why it is distinct from me. When you say the word of God, yeah? When, when we say the word of God, what, what's the meaning of God? That Allah is able to speak. This is what this is what we mean the word of God. So ability of Allah to speak, this is how we have. Now if you say that the word of God, if it's if it come to us, yeah, so it represents the God, but it is when, when you say that Jesus, for example, is present God, that would become distinct from him. If it's distinct from him, it doesn't, it, rep it could represent him, yeah, but it's not him. That's why it's not worth it to be worshipped. Okay, okay, pause, 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 pause. The same, that's Let him why, finish, that's why, let me speak. That's why we don't worship the Quran, we don't, you don't worship the Bible. You understand? So because it is distinct now. Now, say, I that was your turn. Okay, good. So, I, I love what you were saying, because you're, you're answering all the questions right there. What you're saying is that when you actually express yourself, the expression of you, you're saying that's not you, but you're saying it still represents you. So, so let me just finish. So either there's two yous, okay, because the, if you don't have a definitive revelation and manifestation that is certain that I can know that, hmm, this guy, that's who he is. The reason why uh, you say uh, Allah has 99 names is because there's definitive words, like he's just, just has a meaning. He's merciful, merciful has a meaning. Okay. So when you see those 99 attributes revealed, you know, wow, that must be Allah because that's who he is. Mm, so yes. when you see the revelation, mm. that's who he is. Now, I agree with you. The revelation or the manifestation of who you are is not you, okay. but yet it is you at the same time. And this is the mystery that Christians want to teach you, your mm. older brothers, mm. yes. that there is one God mm. who is revealed eternally mm. as the Father, Son, and, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Spirit. And you believe yes. it, okay. and you declare it, mm -hmm. but you don't understand so, it. Now, 